I want to bring it into a deduction. Um, onto the epicondyle or the humerus, we're going to do an osteokinematic manip. So I'm going to basically push the arm, hold it into lateral rotation, push the arm up, so I'm basically abducting the shoulder, twisting my body, everything stable, and then thrust. So adduct it, just switch over that way, hold it into medial rotation now, twist, and thrust. Okay. Radiohumeral flexion, thumb on the back of the radius, radial head, push your shoulder up to stabilize everything, drop through your arm, thrust it superior, was that Antrosius nerve was it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then take it dorsally for extension. You can thrust, you can smack that one if you want to. Um, for the superior radio ulnar joint, if it does sub up, which isn't going to be very often, um, I keep doing this different ways because you never have to do it. But basically, if I want to take it ventral medium, I can do it this way, can't I? There, and that, or I can put thumb on it, smack it that way. <laughs> And then basically for the dorsolateral, it's going to be something like that, isn't it? Take it that way. Or you can come and do it that way if you prefer. Down here is easy. Pronation and supination. Okay? All right.